Welcome to Page Plus. In this video, we're going to look at creating a publication page from scratch. So on the New Publication tab from the Startup Assistant, I'll create a blank A4 publication. So first of all, we'll add an image to the background for some variety and texture. So from the Pictures category in the Assets browser here, we'll click Add. And we have two images in mind for this publication, which we'll open. So to achieve this background effect, we can simply click drag an image onto the publication. Then we'll resize it to fit the edges of the page, like so. Then we want to go into the Transparency tab up here. And with the Linear Gradient category selected, we'll choose a very light, transparent gradient. So as you can see, that's just added a bit of texture to the background. Now what we'll do next is select the text frame, and then as we hover over our publication, we'll see a margin guide. We want to click drag to begin creating this text frame. And as we reach the right side of the page, we'll see the right hand margin guide. We can then release the mouse button and we've created our text frame. So before we add any text, let's pick a font from this list. For this tutorial, we will go with Gothic 720, but you can experiment and pick any font you desire. So what we can actually do is fill this text frame with placeholder text, which is great if you want to experiment with formatting and you just want some filler content to see how it will look. So to do this, all we do is press F5 on the keyboard. And there's our placeholder text. So we'll go ahead and format this into columns. So with the text frame selected, all we do is go up here to the Frame Columns option and increase the number of columns. We'll choose three. So what we'll now do is go ahead and add an image which will then float with the text. So with this image, we can click drag it onto the publication and you'll notice you can choose where it will be located within the text. So I'll choose here. We can let Page Plus shrink our image down, which will save us the work of having to do so. And because we've dragged it into a text frame, the image will automatically float with the text. So what this means is we can reposition it and text will automatically float around it. So we could even drag it right up to the top, resize it, and the text frame will reformat itself around that image. This text, especially in a three column layout, will look better justified. So a very quick way to justify this text is to quadruple click it, like so, and select the justified paragraph option up here. Okay, that looks much better. So we'll now add a header and we'll do this with the artistic text tool here. And all we do with this is we click drag out onto the page to, for now, roughly define the size of the header. Once again, we'll change the font to Gothic 720 and we can begin typing our header, which of course will be too big. But not to worry, because when we resize it, Page Plus automatically adjusts the font size to suit. So positionally, we'll just bring this down here a bit. And we actually have quite a very nice monotone, sleek looking page layout here. But if we want to add some color, we could, for example, select the header here, move across to the color tab, and we can, for example, pick a dark orange. And we can also then go ahead and hover over the effects tab and add some drop shadow, which in its current form is far too excessive. 
So we can reduce the opacity until we just get a hint of shadowing on the text. And finally then, we can just add some more styling to this header. So we'll triple click it to select all the text. We can then go to Format and Character. So within the text style dialog, we're going to do two things. One is check small caps, and the other is move across to the spacing category. And we see this spacing drop down here. We can choose to condense the spacing, and we'll see a real time preview here. So we'll condense the text, then click OK, and then we'll want to resize the text frame again to reflect the change in size because we've condensed the spacing. So there we go. Hopefully that's shown you that you can get some very slick results in a short amount of time just by starting from scratch in Page Plus. If you have any questions, please do ask on the official Serif Community Plus website. Thank you for watching.